All right, so global sales in Jamaican castro oil is said to be around, listen to what I'm saying, uh, Jamaican 3 billion, with a B. Ah, with the increasing worldwide production and constant demand for the product, is the industry positioning itself for maximum benefit from global earnings to avoid exploitation? I think we've gone past that already. We are being exploited. Director of the Mona Institute of Applied Sciences, Dr. Howard Reed, uh, joins us with the details. Morning, sir. Welcome to Smart America. Good Thank to see you, sir. Good to be here. It's important to know that that $3 billion figure is from 2019, eh? Oh, by the way, it's not Jamaica, you know. It's U.S. them, sir. Well, to be specific, about 300 million U.S. dollars. That's the global 300 market. million. That's right. Uh, and, morning, and, again, and, sir. Uh, no. Good morning. And, and the sad thing about it, actually, that we only produce about 5 million of that 300 million here in Jamaica. Well, so we have a how much year history of Castro? 400 years. It comes mm -hmm. back from the 16th century. It came across from the formerly enslaved persons. Part of our tradition, it was refined and developed in Jamaica in particular by the village women of Jamaica, passed on right through our history. But question, is not only Jamaica you can get castor oil. I mean, no. not, I'm, I'm talk, not talking about Jamaica and castor oil, but yes. it's not only Jamaica you can get castor oil. No, you can get, there are different kinds of castor oil. Okay. So the regular castor oil, which is usually clear and different types, but, it's, but in terms of Jamaican black castor oil, it's a castor oil that's made in a unique way. What's mm -hmm. specific about it? Specific is that you roast the, the beans, you, you boil the mash that comes, you, 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 you roast, mash, boil. And the oil that comes off is an oil that is specially associated with Jamaica. And from that, you get Jamaican black castor oil. So our castor oil is, would you, has it, would you go as far as to say it's, it's the best in the world? Based it is, on well, let, let me not, let's say, let not, I wouldn't say, I'm not going to say so, the world says so. Okay. So essentially, Do you agree with the world? I absolutely <laughs> agree with the world. Because the price of Jamaican black castor oil is, is five to seven times any other type of castor wow. oil. And it's an oil that went across the world through our diaspora. So essentially, it was associated with the, the village life. It was a healing oil in Jamaican history. And as we migrated, went to Central America, then to the UK, then to the US and Canada. So it's an oil that comes from us. So it's our oil. Yeah. So talk, well, how we make our oil gone to everybody else? Everybody else have put Jamaica and castor oil on them. So, so this is the problem. It, it's really a sort of cottage industry. And you know Aunt May and Miss Lutie and everybody who does it. And most of us know Informal. people in, in the, informally. But what we didn't do is keep up with the growth. Oh, Lord. So what has happened is that other countries have exploited that. Yeah. And they are producing. Which is what I said, we're not being. No, we, no, no, no. We have been exposed. That's right. So, so now here's where the UWI came in and the Money Institute of Applied Sciences specifically is that we, we got involved in this project about three years ago, looked at the challenges, and we just said, you know, part of the reason why they're able to do this is that we didn't tell the world what is Jamaican black castor oil. And from, as, from a scientific perspective, you're looking at characterizing it physically and chemically. So we don't have a standard. Okay. Right. So we applied to the, the Inter-American Development Bank, a program called Compete Caribbean, Compete Caribbean Partnership Facility, which is a joint program between the Inter-American Development Bank, the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office of the United Kingdom, the Government of Canada, and the Caribbean Development Bank. And it's really about promoting innovation across 13 Caribbean territories. And essentially, what, what we did is that, so we're getting a standard, mm -hmm. and we're working with the Bureau of Standards on this. So we're going across the country now sampling and, and to, the, the lawyers tell us it's important to have the seed material. So we're, we're taking samples across the whole island. We're dividing the island into over 200 microclimatic zones. We're finding different uh, castor varieties. We're taking DNA samples. We're taking seed samples. We're taking samples for a, a gene germplasm bank so we can get cultivars in the future. So we're really setting the basis for an industry. And then from that now, we're going to feed this information to the Bureau. And hopefully a standards committee will then set what is Jamaican black castor oil. And then that's the basis now of getting what you call a, a geographic indication. But how are we yeah. going to get a standard based on the fact that there are so many different types that you're finding? No, interestingly, the scientific literature suggests that there, there, there are regional types of castor. Ah. So we're looking, and we hope that the data will support it, that there is a, there is a commonality about castor varieties that have been introduced in Jamaica gotcha. over the last four okay. centuries. Okay. All right. So you're looking at a baseline type. Yeah. That's right. By the way, let me not confuse you. I was right when I said 3.7 billion Jamaican dollars, but it was US 28 million. Um, so it was 3.7 billion, and as but, you but, heard... But never, um, to be specific, the 28 million is the US market. Right. 
Globally, it's 300 million. Mm -hmm. 300 million. That's right. Uh, so, back to the question mm -hmm. Sim just asked, because the different ones, that, for want of a better word, that you find, is it some weaker, some stronger, or, or what? No, it, it's, it's a cash oil is really a vegetable oil. So it's not about weaker or stronger. It's really about the chemical and physical properties, right? And so, so doesn't so that make some weaker or stronger? It, it, it has efficacy can change. Okay. So part of the challenge, another challenge that we have, Simone, the question you asked, is, is that sometimes we, we, as Jamaicans, we don't do the studies. We don't invest in the science. We don't do the research and development. So we're not able to say specifically, we, we, we haven't done the clinical trials to say that this is what it does. We have anecdotal mm -hmm. stories, fantastic mm -hmm. anecdotal like stories. And, 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 that, yeah. and that's where we need yeah. to close the Back gap. to the 28 million US. That yeah. is Jamaican castor oil selling. Just Jamaican castor oil in the US. And that is Jamaica. Jamaican castor oil. No, come from nowhere. Else nowhere. There. No, no, no. J Jamaica, we, we have what, 5 million. Yeah, Most of it to the US. Yeah. So that's uh, another 23 million is being exploited by, by non Jamaican castor oil. And many of these oils are not genuine Jamaican so black castor oil. What are the implications of that, though, Doc? If you label something Jamaican when it's not? It, it, it's wrong, but well, we haven't done the work to protect ourselves. And to do that, we need a geographic indication. And like, a ge jer like, like GI. Like for jerk. Like Jamaican jerk, yeah. etc. Gotcha. Yeah, so, so a GI is really just a mark mm. that you place on a product. Well, it's not really just a, it's a it, it's a, yeah. Absolutely. It's not just about it. Ab absolutely, yeah. it's a mark. And it means that nobody else can call their product right. Jamaican black Do cash Look, Dr. Reed, again I'm reading here that we export to US 4.8 million yeah. worth of castor oil. That's right. But isn't that better than most of our other products that, that we export? Uh, yes, but we can do a lot better. Let's put this yeah. in context. No, no, I accept that. No, 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 let me, let me put it in context. Um, the total exports of all our agricultural produce in 2020 was 238 million. The global value of the JBCO, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Market, is 300 million. Wow. Yeah. So if we just... Wow. Yeah. Do this alone, we can maybe double our so exports. So let me ask you, Doc, yeah. the, the, the standardization you're looking to do yes. is now in train. In train, When correct. will that be completed, one? And yeah. two, having completed that, will we be able to then bridge that gap or make that, uh, make the inroads we need to make in, in, in getting the other folks who are misrepresenting to pull back if we get our GI yeah. and standardize so that we can start to reap the benefits of of Jamaican black castor oil well, worldwide? Well, first question, the work is scheduled to be complete in about December of this year. Okay. The scientific That's year. good news. Yeah. So to, we'll, we'll put in the report and we'll, we'll liaise and, and link with the Bureau about the standards. And yes, I think once we have the GI, the basis is in play, we still have a lot of work to do. So we have to protect it in our major markets. The mm -hmm. major markets are the US, Canada, UK and the EU mm -hmm. in particular. So we have to go get representation there ensure that nobody in those markets is calling their oil Jamaican black cash oil. And, uh, and they do that because it can be sold for a higher from cost. From five to seven times everything The else. oil is mostly from India and China, but they tend to carry the Jamaican black castor oil or JBCO label. Then the cultural appropriation. It is, it is, it is. It's rob them rabbit us. Our music. That's true. Our that is true. Well, that's different because it's our music, but it's not our castor oil I'm selling, though. That's right. Them, that's them, right. Say, them say it's our castor oil, yes, and because of them say it's our castor oil, they're getting a, mm. a bit bigger... A premium price. Mm. Yeah. And, but, but, but not just Jamaican black castor oil, but we have to put science into our industry, mm -hmm. and we have to do what is required to protect ourselves. Wow. I mean, Dr. Lowe has made so many sure. game-changing finds at you. Yeah. He's made yeah. sure to follow the right procedure so yeah. that he yeah. can... Protects his product. We do the same thing, especially with an industry that could mean so much for That's us. That's right, and and unfortunately, we can replicate the same argument in many other, yes, other areas. Yes, That's right. yes. Thank wow. you, sir. Thank you, sir. This Thank is eye-opening, as they say. I think we're years old, but I'm glad the work is in train. Yeah, okay. man. Thank you. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate right. it. Is there a, you, you said 13 prices, but is there a specific area in Jamaica that more of the castor oil come from than other areas? Um, I think the South Coast tend to produce more. Um, but but really, right right across. The right island. across. That's right. Whew. All right. We need that. We, we need to start another business. We did so actually work for water. We didn't get there, but we, it's we good for hair and skin okay. in particular. Right. That's right. Oh. Okay. Copy that. So it what, what you grow your hair? It what? It, it grows your hair. It 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 retards when when you lose in your hair. And what um, do you do for the skin? The skin it, it it it's a humectant, so it pulls in moisture. It it has healing properties. Um, literally, I have a story where it saved my skin. 
Oh, right. Really? So, so when I, on the research project, I, I um, one of the, the the traditional growers, I think she was on this program, Shirley Lindo, at some point in the past. She has a, an assistant, Supreme, and he was a short man. So he makes a chicken coop, and I walk right into the chicken coop, and blood just started to spurt. And what they did is that they put the Jamaican castor oil immediately, and it's antimicrobial, and, and so it really just, just Heal the it, it, that's right. Whoa. I thought you were going to say she has some, somebody short and the black castor oil <laughs> made him tall. I was just going to say, what? <laughs> He's the director of the Mona Institute of Applied <laughs> Sciences. Good to have a team. Dr. Howard Reed. Thank you, sir. Thank you God for having you. me. So Good to have you. Okay. Yeah. Still to come, we're going to talk urban designs and hip-hop architecture with Saku Cook. Right now, though, News in 5, second edition.